Imagine a weapon so powerful that it doesn't rely on explosives, just sheer velocity and a solid piece of metal. This was not the concept of a futuristic novel, but the very real foundation of the US Navy's electromagnetic railgun. Designed to fire metal projectiles at hypersonic speeds, this weapon could obliterate targets without ever using a warhead. At its peak, it was hailed as a revolutionary step in modern warfare, capable of changing the rules of naval combat entirely. Yet after years of tests and and hundreds of millions of dollars, the railgun mysteriously vanished from development plans. The question remains, why did the Navy abandon its most groundbreaking weapon? The rise and fall of the electromagnetic railgun. The electromagnetic railgun was a symbol of military innovation, using electromagnetic energy rather than explosives to launch metal projectiles at over 8,000 feet per second, nearly seven times the speed of sound. With no explosives on board, its power came purely from kinetic energy, able to tear through steel and concrete with ease. Powered by two metal rails and massive electrical currents, the railgun promised unmatched firepower and range. Backed by over 15 years of research and $500 million, early models fired at 8 megajoules, with plans for a 64 megajoule version capable of hitting targets 100 miles away, far beyond the 15 mile range of traditional naval guns. Despite its promise, the project ultimately failed to overcome technical and practical challenges when dreams collide with reality. Despite its potential, the railgun faced major hurdles. Its massive power needs exceeded what most ships could handle, requiring major redesigns. The electromagnetic forces quickly wore down components, demanding constant repairs, while heat buildup from repeated use risked melting parts. These issues made the weapon costly and unreliable. By 2021, the US Navy quietly ended funding, shifting focus to hypersonic missiles and directed energy weapons. The railgun became a powerful example of how technological promise can falter against real-world limits. Lasers at Sea, the next evolution. While the railgun silently disappeared from military planning, another seemingly impossible weapon rose to take its place, lasers. On May 16, 2020, the US Navy took a giant step into the future when the United States ship Portland successfully fired the world's first operational laser weapon system at sea. The target was a small drone flying overhead. Within moments of the laser locking on, the drone's electronics overheated and it crashed into the sea without a Sound. There was no explosion, no fireball, just a silent and precise takedown using invisible energy. This marked a new era in naval warfare. Unlike the brute force of traditional weapons, laser systems use beams of concentrated light to disable or destroy threats. The solid state laser weapon on the USS Portland works by generating light energy that travels at the speed of light to burn out a target's electronics, blind its sensors, or disable engines, all without using any ammunition. The laser doesn't just strike fast, it strikes instantly, with deadly precision and minimal cost. The power and potential of laser weaponry. Laser systems offer a range of benefits that make them highly attractive to modern militaries. First, they are incredibly efficient. Instead of relying on physical ammunition, lasers only require electrical energy, which means they never run out of shots as long as the ship's power holds. Each firing costs approximately $1 in electricity, an astonishing contrast to the multi-million dollar missiles typically used for defense. More importantly, lasers allow for virtually unlimited engagements. Unlike traditional weapons that need to be reloaded, a laser system can switch from one threat to another in a matter of milliseconds, targeting multiple drones, boats, or missiles without pausing for rearming. The implications are profound. Ships equipped with laser systems can now defend themselves against swarm attacks or small, fast-moving threats that would have previously required expensive interceptors. The laser's precision allows it to neutralize threats without collateral damage, shutting down engines or sensors without destroying entire vessels. For naval commanders, this opens opens the door to strategic responses that don't involve total annihilation. The Tomahawk and the Torpedo even as lasers rise in prominence, the Navy continues to rely on tried and true heavy hitters for its most destructive missions. Among these is the Tomahawk Land Attack Missile, a precision guided cruise missile capable of striking targets over 1,000 miles away. Tomahawks use a mix of GPS, terrain following radar, and pre programmed routes to fly at low altitudes, avoiding enemy detection while delivering explosive payloads to command centers, radar stations, and other high value targets. With various warhead options, 
guns, the Tomahawk remains the gold standard for long-range naval strike capabilities. Beneath the waves, the Mark 54 torpedo remains the Navy's underwater assassin, weighing over 1,000 pounds and loaded with Torpex, a powerful explosive compound stronger than TNT. The Mark 54 can crack enemy submarine hulls like eggshells. It uses advanced sonar systems to locate and track underwater targets, adjusting its path in real time to hit with devastating accuracy. Whether launched from surface ships or submarines, the Mark 54 plays a vital role in undersea warfare reloading at sea. As deadly as these weapons are, one of the Navy's biggest challenges remains the process of reloading them, especially in the middle of the ocean. On land or in port, massive cranes and mechanical systems make rearming ships a relatively safe process. But in open waters, everything changes. Rolling waves, unpredictable weather, and the constant motion of the ship make handling thousand-pound missiles a high-risk operation. A single misstep can lead to catastrophic accidents. In fact, the dangers became so so apparent that the Navy eventually removed most onboard cranes from ships, requiring alternative methods for mid-sea resupply. However, with rising tensions in global hotspots and longer deployments, rearming at sea is once again becoming a necessity. Crews must train for this under the most demanding conditions, often at night and without communication to avoid enemy detection. It's a dance of precision, coordination, and nerves of steel. The Phalanx Close-In Weapon System when all outer defenses fail and an incoming missile races toward a ship at supersonic speeds, the last line of protection is the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System. Affectionately known as Sea Whiz, this automated Gatling gun can fire 4,500 rounds per minute, creating a lethal wall of tungsten in the sky. As enemy missiles close in, the CIWS's radar-guided computer tracks, targets, and opens fire, often with less than 10 seconds to act. The system operates independently once activated, detecting threats, calculating intercept paths, and destroying targets without human involvement. It's a remarkable combination of mechanical speed and computational precision. Though its range is limited to just a few miles, it's often the last hope of survival for ships under attack, buying just enough time to avoid catastrophe. The Sky's Edge, F-35 Lightning II. While naval ships defend themselves with advanced technology, their most powerful strike capability still comes from above. The F-35 Lightning II, a fifth-generation stealth fighter jet, is the ultimate airborne weapon in the Navy's arsenal. These aircraft are designed to be nearly invisible to radar, with internal weapon bays that conceal bombs and missiles, preserving their stealth profile even during combat missions. Equipped with helmet-mounted displays that project data directly onto the pilot's visor, the F-35 allows its operators to target enemies without relying on traditional cockpit instruments. These jets can engage air and ground targets with deadly precision from over 100 miles away. Each aircraft costs more than $100 million, making them the most expensive jets ever deployed, but also the most capable, racing against technology itself. As the speed of military innovation accelerates, even those trained to use these weapons are struggling to keep pace. Artificial intelligence is increasingly being integrated into targeting and weapon systems, removing humans from key decision-making roles. With unmanned drones, AI-guided munitions, and autonomous defense systems on the rise, the line between science fiction and military reality continues to blur. Veteran pilots and ordnance specialists now find themselves managing weapon systems so advanced that even small errors could trigger international crises. The psychological pressure of operating these systems is immense and growing. And that wraps up our deep dive into the Navy's most advanced and mind-blowing weapons, from hypersonic railguns to invisible laser beams and next-gen stealth jets. If you found this video fascinating, smash that like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious, stay sharp, and we'll see you in the next video.